Francine, wrecking havoc in the south after it made landfall as a Category 2 hurricane in Louisiana. We opened the door and we're like, oh my God. I mean, within 20 minutes, it was flooded out, Todd. Connie Yates' home in Kenner completely flooded as the storm moved in, the high water trapping her inside. Everybody was calling, I wish I could come out. I said, and they like, get out, get out. And I'm like, where do we go? We can't get out. The water's all over. Now, she's left cleaning up what's left behind. Along with thousands of others in the region, heavy rain and high winds creating damage across the Gulf. As of right now, have no reports of any storm-related fatalities, and we want to keep it that way. Some areas seeing five to six inches of rain per hour. Streets completely inundated. Drivers abandoning their cars and walking instead. Power lines and trees torn down. Thousands left without power. For us to be able to get our utilities back online, we want, if you do not have to be on a road, roadway, we urge you to stay off of the roadway. Local and federal authorities surveying the area. And we also have FEMA on the ground, you know, with us already. So we're going to be taking a look at everything, getting those damage assessment uh, reports in from our local partners and, and kind of determining a path forward. Francine downgraded to a tropical depression this morning, but the winds are still strong and rain is pouring as it moves north. Four to eight inches of rain is possible for parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Florida, and Tennessee. Here in New Orleans, they certainly aren't strangers to flooding and hurricanes like this. Francine, the sixth hurricane to hit Louisiana since 2019. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, New Orleans.